me again. Um, a couple of years ago, I made this monstrosity. Uh, it's a kayak made from foam insulation board, the stuff you slap on the side of a house. And uh, it works great, I just haven't, I haven't got around to do much else with it. What does this need? This needs, this needs a motor. So, I've got my Min Crota trolling motor, which you want to mount. Now, I could have made this, if I was smart, I would have made this that way. Job done. Didn't do that, that was too simple, wasn't it? <laughs> way too simple. Um, so what I've done is I've made a, I've made like a transom thing, this thing here. Here we go. Here's my little transom device. And uh, that goes on there like that. When the motor's pushing, the motor's pushing the boat that way, yeah, it wants to go up like that. I've got to strap these down, so I thought, hmm. I don't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to attach anything permanently to the kayak because I like this open feature, like there's loads of space, there's no gubbins in the way, and I want to keep it like that. So, well, these will do the job. So these, well, go on like that. And I've got four, I shopped around, I found a four pack for 40 bucks, all well, that'll do. And as you can tell, it doesn't look pretty. None of it looks pretty, so I figure a bit more ugliness. What's the difference? And the reason I, I want to want to keep it so everything detaches is because I, I don't want to have to have a, a trailer for this thing. All right, so they go on like that. And then this thing's secure. So now my uh, motor can go on there. And this thing's going to be a problem. Now I've seen some really good kayaks with some awesome contraptions where they have like, this taken off and there's like the electronics run into an RF box and you've got a switcher and then there's like a little bracket on the back and there's wires going up and there's foot pedals you can still do that and that's great but then you end up having to have a trailer to cart me around it won't go on the roof rack because everything's attached and I didn't want to have to do it that way. So what have I come up with? Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out. I have this one here. This is the thing that adjusts, by the way, the height to which the motor goes. Right, a little collar with a clamp on it. So I can, right, take that off, unthread that, get rid of that, get a similar bolt, which I'm lucky enough to have lying around. Now I just need some kind of linkage to go on the end. So, wait for it. So I've made this. That's going to go there like that. And I'm going to steal like that, right? So next up. That's going in there. Now that's just got to connect to the battery. I've got some, where do I put it? I've got some cable in for that. I'm going to store that to sort out. Um, but for now, let's just go down to the battery, which is down here. So obviously, I can't reach this from there without turning around. That's going to run that, and I'm going to put the battery at the front. Anyway, this battery is like 60 pounds. It's oh, it is a beast of a battery. Anyway, that's the setup. Uh, got my chair raised up. Ugly. That's all right. Uh, got my clamps, ugly, that's right, <laughs> I'm thinking it's pretty ugly, um, but what I like about it, what I like is 
I can use this as like a stand up paddle board, big open space, I can lay down in it, um, I can use it as a paddling kayak, again loads of room, there's nothing in this deck area to clutter things up, right? everything removes and there's nothing permanent attached, so this will go on my roof rack, this thing's like 25 pounds, just the, the front kayak, that'll go on my roof rack really easy. All those garments in my trunk, get it to where I'm going, set it up, off I go. Don't need a trailer, don't need anything. So the next episode, I will be uh, chucking this in the water. So join me then when I uh, see how fast this ugly monstrosity will go.